it's Christmas, it's bitters, it's sorrow. Let me go. My name is Sylvester Ryan, professional mixologist, many years experience in the field. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make spiked sorrel using Angostura bitters, world renowned, world famous black label rum, and of course sorrel. Now, bitters we use in Trinidad and Tobago, and probably most people around the world who know the brand would use it in typically everything, especially around Christmas time. You'd have it in your ham, you'd put it in your seasoning, you put it in everything. Today we're going to be using it to make our sorrel juice that's going to be the base of our spiked sorrel. Can you tell I'm excited to make this drink? Of course, it's Christmas. So let's start with the sorrel. Now, sorrel typically comes whole like this. Now, in order to start getting it boiled, you have to take off the seed because you don't want to make the mistake of boiling your sorrel with the seeds. And it's as simple as this. You take a small knife and you be very careful because it's close to your fingers and you just pass it around the base of the sorrel leaf and you pull it out. That simple. And we're going to be just putting that into the water. So we're just throwing in our sorrel. Get it all in there. And then we're going to be using a range of spices to really envelop the taste and develop the flavors. So, a little bit of cinnamon, bay leaf in everything, star anise that adds that pungent flavor, clove, because I mean, what is Christmas without clove? Get some of them in there, a little more than regular. <laughs> I like it a little spicy. And then mace, and that's gonna be adding that nice mild nutmeg flavor. To sweeten it all up, a little bit of sugar, and then, of course, the star of the show, Angostura bitters. And I'm just going to give this a quick stir to incorporate everything. And then we're going to leave this for about 30 minutes to really draw properly. But I'm not going to make it wait 30 minutes. I mean, this is TV, TV magic. We have some prepared already. Come, let's go. Quick and easy. Ice. Sorrel. Rum. And you can do two parts sorrel to one part rum. And to tie it all together, bitters, of course, I mean. One, two, three, four. Give that a quick stir. And on top, we're just gonna put nice little lime, a little bit of star anise, you know, just to make it look like it is. Perfect. But you know the mixologist and me, I wanna do it a little bit differently. I just wanna amp it up a little bit, you know? So, and it doesn't take much to amp it up, you know? I'm gonna show you how simple it is. You remember that drink we just made? Sorrel, rum, and aromatic bitters. Well, yeah, I'm actually going to do the same thing. However, the twist to that is, I'm going to give it a little shake. Still putting my bitters in there. All the ingredients from the first one. So this is how I'm going to take it to the next notch, the next level, the higher tier. Simple as the first one, but with this one, we had Angostura orange bitters. That's going to just add a really, really nice citrus note to it that is just going to amplify all the flavors that we had in the sorrel. Just like that. Can do it like how I do the maracas before. And that's it. Simple as ever. Put some ice in my glass. Strainer. You use the same 
sorrel and you add a little mint leaf some lime and you create a nice little garnish fit and that's how you just upped your spike sorrel simple as ever you can do this at home you can invite your friends show off this christmas tell them that sylvester said you can make a spike sorrel unfortunately you're not here to do the tasting but fortunately i am so let me explain these flavors to you. Strong, not sweet. You get any taste of the bitters and you get a lot of those anise and nutmeg flavors coming through. This is really good. You know, normally we have rum and coke and so, nah man, let me, let me dash it up this Christmas and we spike it up this Christmas. And this one here, you can already smell the orange. Yes, man. This is me Christmas morning, boxing morning. Could be New Year's too. Enjoy. As we close off, I just want to say a special thank you to Angostura for not only allowing us to use these wonderful products in this cocktail today that I'm sure you're going to be trying. Because I mean, I give you only full recipe. Tell them Sylvester said, and that's what we said, right? Good. So pick it up anywhere, not just in Sri and Tobago, but worldwide. Angostura Aromatic Bitters is available throughout the world. So you have no reason not to make this cocktail this Christmas.